Hello guys and welcome to Mod Spotlight Part 2 of Billcraft. So that is for for Billcraft 3.2. And what are we going to do this episode? Well, since we have these engines over here and we have all set up, so we can make a quarry. Why not? So what you gonna do? What we are gonna need? Or quarry. Well, we are going to need some lead marks which are crafted simply with redstone torch and lapis. And uh, quarry is a little bit more complicated and more expensive recipe. So it's. Oh. R. So it requires three iron gears, two gold gears, for uh, two diamond gears and one diamond pickaxe with one redstone <laughs> the most expensive <laughs> of this <laughs> so uh, this requires 11 diamonds so you will need to have 11 diamonds for a quarry and uh, pretty well decent amount of iron and gold so half a stack of gold or something 16 uh, yeah something like that never mind so what you do with these landmarks and let me get a redstone redstone torch so landmarks well, when you place a quarry by its own uh, let's set it up over here let's, shall we so when you place it on its own it creates 9 by 9 uh, space to mine so in it's in the middle and it's okay I mean 9 by 9 it's pretty much decent but what if you want a big one let's say 64 by 64 uh, what do you say about that well it's nice so you can do that with landmarks so let's place one landmark over here and now you need to place it in a uh, same level so this is one level down two three and let's do it over here Come on. No oh, swift wolves, I miss you. So let's place it over here. And I think we are in a good position. Now you need to place one more in either that direction or that direction. So we are gonna go well, let's say in that direction, right? So this is it, one up, we are going to go one down like this no problem and what if you have a problem like if you want to make 64 64 over the hill and something if you don't want to count uh, but how much steps you taken and where you gone just place redstone torch and as you can see it will show you and in each direction how much you can go so we can go even uh, further here as you can see up to there so quarry can be pretty big and uh, you need to apply a decent amount of power if you want to get the sweet stuff that is diamonds and uh, the level 20 minus stuff so now once we set up our landmarks just right click it and if it's red and in both directions then it means that it's okay and let's place a quarry landmarks pop out you can pick them up I won't I don't care so and now we need to apply a power to quarry but first let's do let's do this so quarry will pump items on its own so out so let's get a crystal chest why not over here so all we need now is power so let's get this golden conductor pipes place them over here and we have a power to a quarry let's break this off Oop. Um, we are not getting yep we are not getting water why is that oh we are not getting enough water <laughs> that's the problem so that can happen and as you can see when, when engines go to this stage it's pretty much uh, well 
not pretty good. So let's get let's get some water capsules or something, right? So let's fill them up, and I will be back once I do this. So you can see you, you can pump manually water, and well, let's actually leave this, right? Yeah, sure, why not? let's leave these capsules inside so that we have plenty amount of water so you need to really really watch out what you're doing so one rest of energy may be not enough uh, you maybe need to have two or three because these engines really really run fast and really use a lot of water so now as you can see engines won't activate right now this is because the new build craft not this version but uh, the last one uh, had habit that engines cannot be activated once they cool down to the blue stage so when they that is the most coolest so when they cool down only then they will reactivate so I'll be back once that happens okay we are slowly getting power let me set today and second engine third engine now will activate so what's this laser doing here well, as you can see, we have a pretty uh, unflat terrain, and uh, well, the mining drill needs to be in this level over here to be able to work. So, this little laser will clean up the terrain for us. As you can see, it does a pretty decent job, pretty fast, but it's only in the red stage, so it means it doesn't have enough power yet. So, once the other engines, like now, should activate it should change color to blue or something maybe it's a bug I don't know so it's a pre-release actually so maybe that's something changed on never mind it's going pretty fast so once once that's done I want to show you something so look at this I didn't connect it yet so I want to just say that when you connect the items with uh, conductive pipes you should make uh, sure to not have a loop loop is this so I mean let's say you have a machine like over here and over here don't do this do just this so basically you need to well apply power to put machine over here and over here and to traverse from here do not do this in order to get more power or something it won't because it will explode so don't do loops it's dangerous and you can see now as it builds up and eventually it will come on come on a little bit more come on hmm will it explode or not? it should explode uh, maybe if you place a machine, right? so let's place oh yeah we didn't even need it to place nothing so cool so as you can see it will build up energy and it will explode and basically it can well ruin your day really so now the laser is building a frame for a quarry so well, of course, that it can sit on to work on. It's, it's doing a pretty good job. And right now, we aren't getting any resources because this is just a laser. It destroys items, it doesn't mine them. So, as you can see, we have already the crane started over here. And we should. Engine's okay. Now the frame that is uh, the frame moves that is the crane and the coil starts so we to go over here and start from here let's see that nice and it's going a pretty decent speed so as you can see all the items will go to the chest, no need to apply a 
wooden pipe and redstone engine so it will automatically shut out, shut out all the items pretty fast so imagine when it goes uh, even deeper you know, where's the iron and coal and stuff so it's pretty awesome okay so with our quarry running what can we do next Pete, let's go here to our auto crafting table and this is quite a cool addition to build craft and uh, especially all the minecraft it's it's really really cool so let's say you have three sticks and you want to craft a gear and you forgot one stick normal crafting table will pop those items out auto crafting won't so it's pretty cool but that's not the main function of it main function of auto crafting table is when you make a recipe to it like wood gears and when you supply a steady amount that is not steady amount never mind if you supply an amount of sticks to it it will auto craft a wood gear to you for you so let's say we do this no we don't need it or maybe yeah maybe we do so let's do like this redstone engine or uh, first I need you so redstone torch redstone engine chest um, wooden 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 normal wooden pipe oh shit no 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 okay so normal wooden pipe over here and let's just place a stone one right stone is here and let's get a few of you okay so here it is let's place some sticks over here as you can see stick is traveling and we have placed a recipe inside a auto, auto crafting table so one stick two actually that's three and four and it will be oh, it will be proper properly dispersed that is uh, it will be properly as you can see it won't go other side it will probably well, how do I call it place let's say place it will proper uh, properly place and uh, sticks over here so how do you do auto crafting simply just place another redstone engine over here let's place wooden pipe over here and we got ourselves a wood gears automatically crafted nice okay so let's stop this so that's mostly about it about auto crafting table you can also use it with logistic pipes which is pretty cool and uh, logistic pipes will allow you to auto craft items as you saw in my series I will do a logistic pipe tutorial so you will also be able to see over there also what you can do is to get a second item that is the hopper the hopper is new addition to the build craft uh, starting from this version that is 3.2 it's crafted simply with iron five iron ingots a chest and a stone gear simple not expensive recipe and it does works like a charm so what's a hopper well when you place it over your auto crafting table as you can see it has four slots now what you can do is place let's say 12 sticks over here and it will go down all the way to auto crafting table and as you can see it will properly place them in the position so let's say you want really big amounts of gears you just place it and hopper doesn't need a redstone signal nothing it works on its own it will properly place everything over here 
this is like a buffer let's say let's call it a buffer and what's neat about it is you can place as much as you want to I think there's not a limit so let's get sticks few sticks and now what will it do well it will go from here to here then to this one then to this one then to this one and then to our auto crafting table which will create a bunch of gear for, gears for us so that's about it for this part and stay tuned for the next part which will be this neat stuff gates and uh, gates and pipe wires so and the new additions so see you next time bye bye